My name is Professor Mike Jackson. Uh, I'm Professor of Machine Systems at Loughborough University. I'm a director of an EPSRC centre in intelligent automation. Intelligent automation, as we define it, is actually a blend of skilled human worker and robot working together cooperatively. In that way, the human worker gets more output and hope the productivity will increase, exports will increase, and as a consequence, we'll have a stronger economy. The highlights are, uh, are numerous, but uh, a couple that really stand out are the way that the centre, the SRC centre, works with the high value manufacturing catapult, uh, namely in this case the MTC, and uh, the way the engineers and the researchers work together as a common team, and they also work together with industry engineers that are embedded uh, from companies like Rolls Royce, and uh, they work together as a truly integrated uh, project team. Currently, we've created an automated um, welding system uh, which actually can cope with variation in, in product fit up in the same way as a skilled human worker could. So that's actually taking a lot of stress out of the job, that freeing up the worker to actually concentrate on the more difficult, uh, which, which are difficult to automate welding um, applications and um, makes the whole job more productive. The main reason for doing all this is to incre increase productivity, improve competitiveness, yeah. allow the UK companies to export more, to bring um, sort of production back to the UK, uh, or so-called onshoring or bring back, uh, and that way uh, there'll be less manufacturing taking place overseas and more of it back in the UK. But the jobs that are actually created are high-tech jobs, and part of the rationale for all this is to retrain some of the skilled workers so that they can actually work cooperatively with these new generation of robots which yet have, have yet to be created uh, and these will be co-workers who are not as intelligent as a human being, not as capable, but actually capable of working and assisting uh, human beings so that the um, productivity levels increase.